Hey, hey, everybody in YouTube land. We're over here at the shop VHP, and we're just finishing putting this floor valve together. Uh, what we had to do is we had a lifter tick over here on the number three or four cylinder. It was making noise right there, so we swapped out the lifters. Uh, the lifters are pretty old, so most likely um, no one took care of this engine for a little while because the when we got in here, there was a bunch of slag from the oil so we're guessing the lifter was collapsed and it just was making noise we checked the rockers the rockers are all good but the lifters a couple of the lifters were a little on the bad side so we swapped that out also we can tell someone's already been in here because you can see that they marked it and so we saw someone already open this up uh, especially on this side the driver's side was a pain in the butt to get the valve cover off um, so many problems so what we had to do is remove almost everything so we moved the clutch cable out of the way moved the brake booster out of the way um, pry on it and barely got to slip over the back of the hold downs for those cams and got it out but it took us what about three days you think yeah, so about it took about three days to get it all done. So yeah, it was a pain in the butt. But here we are getting it going. We got the new tying chains on, the new sprockets, the new uh, tensioners, the new guides. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, we get the kits from Ford Racing. We usually don't have a problem, but for some reason, it's being a pain in the butt to go back on two valves. We have no problem getting those on. And this should be very similar for the two valves, other than if you see over here for the the second uh, second camshaft for the four valves, that's the only difference really. And uh, where the timing cover opens up for the four valve head, uh, but everything else is the exact same as the two valve. But we've been having problems. Two valve stuff, we have no problem getting them on, getting everything working. We have plenty of room with the tensioners, but now we're not with this four valve setup. Uh, we had to take the tensioners off and then the guides, we had to grind on the guide a little bit. If you can see there, we notched the guide a little bit to get that to fit. Um, and then right now we're having a problem with the tensioner, not tensioner, but the guide on this side, trying to get that situated. But with the two valves, we never have to do any of this stuff. It's really easy. So, just a pain in the butt right now. But we're getting it going. Also, I noticed with the new ones, if you look at the guides on the lower end on this side and the upper on that side, the new ones only had two bolts where the old ones had three bolts. So what we did was it just popped off the plastic guides and swapped the guides. So... If people don't know, let me see. On the bottom, you can see here they have these little hooks. So they slide in and that's how it works. But see how the new one only has two bolt holes. Now, not all of them are like that. Most of my two four valve stuff, it has two bolt holes. So I'm not sure if they didn't do the machine right or what. And I've never had that problem ever, but yeah. But we got new sprockets too as well. Yeah, you can see these are kind of eh, kind of shiny, so they wear a little bit. So they provide new sprockets, new chains, new tensioners, new guides, everything um, to do it. And we get a new valve uh, um, timing cover seal. So yeah, that's getting all put back together, and we should be done pretty soon. We're just tightening everything up. But we're getting it. And we're just, we're not tightening them down with that. We're just using it to snug them real fast before we start torquing everything down. We'll be torquing down next. But anyways, this is a quick little video of the four valve. This one here is a 1999 Mustang Cobra. So it's got the NA style intake which is that's the style with the top part half off but yeah uh we should be hopefully done with this today 
and out. Hopefully, hopefully uh, the guy can come pick it up today. But anyways, um, yeah, this will do for this video. It's just a quick one. Just let you guys see what the four valves look like. And we'll get another up close view of it. You can see that's real similar to the two valves other than the second chain going over to the second uh, camshaft. And then that little tensioner you can see it's right there in the middle. And that's the only difference. And here I got another motor over here. It's already pulled apart so I'll show you that one. Let's see, this one's not, yeah, it's not. Okay, good. Oh, wait. Okay. Let's pull this out. There you go. This is all new stuff for the two valve. And like I said, it's pretty much identical. So, very easy. This thing here was a lot easier to put together. Oops, sorry, not paying attention. A lot easier to put together. Um, and then the timing cover, if you look at the timing cover difference, a lot of people was like, oh, what's the difference between the timing covers? Well, here we go, I'll show you. So that's the two valve one, and this is the four valve one. So if you can see, it opens up a little bit more on the top so that's a good picture right there. You see the difference? Almost everything else is similar. It's just a little bit wider for the four valves. I don't really see any other difference. The timing marks are still there. The, all the other stuff is still there. The same spots. So the cam position, the crank position are in the same spots. Uh, just a little bit wider. And... I don't know. I don't see anything else different. Other than that. But yeah, that's the difference between the two valve and the four valve timing covers. Um, you know, I've never seen if a 5-4 timing cover is the same as the two valve and the four valves. I have no idea. I've never messed with those before. Mostly get the four sixes because the Mustangs. Um, but it'd be cool to get one out one day, check and see if there's a difference between the two valves and the four valves of those five fours, and see if they're the same timing cover. Uh, a lot of the other parts should be similar. But uh, yeah, so that would do it for the video. Um, like I said, it's just a quick little video today. I haven't posted anything for a while because I've been playing with my new GoPro, and <laughs> I haven't took the videos off of it to edit it this here just doing it on my cell phone makes me easier just to grab them and go you know like oh i can post it real fast so i can do videos a lot better but there's no editing so that's the one bad thing where this is quick and easy no editing or the other one takes longer but edit videos and hopefully better quality well, anyways you guys have a good one see you next time at vhp